scientists in the United Kingdom created genetically modified human embryos in a lab, and the results of the experiment present grave concerns. Science publication 1-0 reported that using the gene editing technique CRISPR, the scientists deleted a gene from human embryos that had been donated for research. They later realized that these embryos also contained significant unintended edits that could lead to birth defects or other major medical issues. The embryos were destroyed after the experiment. One gene editing expert and professor of molecular and cell biology at the University of California, Berkeley, told the publication 1-0, quote, there's no sugarcoating this. This is a restraining order for all genome editors to stay the living daylights away from embryo editing. Joining us now to discuss this alarming story via Skype is Dr. Joseph Meany, president of the National Catholic Bioethics Center. Joseph, welcome. First off, can you break down what gene editing is exactly and the Catholic Church's teaching on it? Sure. So gene editing is essentially taking out a gene or splicing another gene in, in its place. And the CRISPR technology was developed in 2013, uh, but it makes it a lot easier to do that. Uh, so we're, we're very much in the beginnings of, of all this genetic research, but it's uh, it's becoming a reality. They're able to take out genes and replace them. And of course, the Catholic Church is very, very opposed to any kind of uh, experimentation on human embryos or any person without informed consent. Uh, you know, you might be able to use this technology for good, but this is clearly a case where it's being used for bad. That being said, what's your reaction to this news story? So, you know, it's it's quite predictable, mm -hmm. I would say. You know, science, as it, as it uh, emerges into new areas, makes a lot of mistakes. And I don't believe that human embryos, our, our youngest brothers and sisters, should be sacrificed on the altar of scientific research. It's ridiculous. You know, there are all kinds of animal experimentations that can be done. It's, it's clearly just scientists wanting to experiment and, and even play God with human beings. Can you expand on what are some of the potential ramifications of gene editing from a Catholic perspective? Right. So, I mean, one of the terrible things, uh, you know, the dignity of the human person is so profound. We're not allowed to, to do, you know, whatever we want with our bodies. And we're certainly not allowed to, to do what we want with our children's bodies, you know, and to, to give informed consent for them. But it's really terrible what, what they're talking about with this gene editing for embryos, because it's germline changes, meaning that if these children survive, their children, this will be passed on. It's like changing uh, the biology of, of the human being, the DNA of human beings. Wow. Joseph, it is secular scientists raising alarm about this practice. Why do you think that's happening here? That surprised me. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. It's, it's good to see that there is there's a universal consensus that this should not be done. In fact, a Chinese scientist who did it in 2018 uh, was universally condemned, and not only that, but he, he went to jail. So that's it's great. But the problem is, there's a real tendency uh, in modern, you know, secular science, et cetera, to say, well, you can do this, but just don't allow these children to be born, right? You know, mm. Clone and kill, or you know, edit and kill, and and it's just not in keeping at all with a Catholic perspective on the dignity of the human person. We cannot do this to our, our youngest brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. What do you say then, Joseph, and what's your response to people who say, well, we should embrace science and we should utilize gene editing techniques to help prevent future diseases and family lines? A lot of people believe gene editing is good and actually helpful to our population. So it is interesting to see, and the Catholic Church would have no objection uh, to, after it's been done in animals, et cetera, you know, and, and prove to be safe, because we're clearly seeing that it's, it's completely unsafe technology at this point. But to correct genetic diseases of adults, or even of children in the womb, but you know, you can't conceive a child in a laboratory mm -hmm. and experiment on them in a laboratory and use the IVF uh, procedures, mm -hmm. et cetera. Already that is a grave ethical problem. But, um, but you know, you could use this technology, certainly, certainly for adults, you know, who can give their informed consent, perhaps in the future when it becomes safer, uh, to correct genetic problems. Uh, that, that is a real possibility. You know, these embryos were destroyed following the experiment. What is the human cost of gene editing more broadly? Sure. I mean, it's really tremendous to see the amount of human embryos that are killed. Uh, you know, they're, they're estimated to be over 2 million spare embryos, thanks to the IVF industry. And science is getting a hold of a lot of these embryos uh, and, and just, you know, doing mass experimentation. This one study here involved 25 human embryos, all of whom were killed. 
Uh, but this is this is ongoing, and it is is a massive problem. I mean, we could be talking about hundreds of thousands of individuals who would you know be created in laboratories and killed in laboratories.